Scientists may have recreated the long-lost formula for Egyptian blue. This is amazing Egypt news. If you haven't heard of Egyptian blue, it was a pigment developed by the ancient Egyptians as far back as 3250 BCE in the late pre-dynastic period. They use it to paint wood, stone, cartonnage, and incorporate it into beads, amulets, and sometimes even pottery. It's considered to be the oldest synthetic pigment in the world. The Egyptians developed it as a cheaper alternative to lapis lazuli stone, which was coveted, but far too expensive and from far off modern Afghanistan. The Egyptian blue, or Hesped Irti in ancient Egyptian, has been recreated by a group of scientists ranging from mechanical and materials engineers and research scientists at the Smithsonian Museum's Conservation Institute. It all took place at Pittsburgh's Carnegie Museum of Natural History. It was modern microscopy and analytical techniques that none of the previous eight studies on the making of Egyptian blue had used. They created dozens of combinations of materials, including crystalline silicone dioxide and different variations of copper and calcium sources. Then they heated this to about 1800 degrees, trying to replicate the temperatures that the ancient Egyptians could have actually achieved. They then compared the results with pieces from the Carnegie Museum that contained Egyptian blue, like this one. They found that even when the Egyptian blue was the brightest of blue, the mixture only needed to contain around 50% of blue colored components. If you happen to be in Pittsburgh, there is actually a long-term exhibition about this study where you can survey some of the pigment samples yourself.